Five reasons that you should not listen to others. We are taught that we should listen to other people from our childhood. All of us are familiar with these phrases. You should listen to your mommy. Will your mom approve it? Will your mom allow it? Did you ask your father about it? What did your teacher say? We are raised with an idea that we must listen to what other people think. Even if we don't ask these questions verbally, mentally we know what other people expect from us. We live in a state of subconscious fear of being judged, criticized or rejected if we do something different. Today I will share with you five reasons, five true and good reasons why you should not listen to others. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Before we start, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to boost your self-confidence, to create profound relationships and fully enjoy your life. Every week I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, healthy boundaries and all other essential topics that will help you to be happy and to manifest your dreams. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe right now so you won't miss my next video on another important topic. If you are in a difficult situation and would like to receive my professional advice, please pause the video right now, do it right now, and type your question in the comments. This is a great opportunity for you to receive my professional guidance free of cost. So be brave, share your opinion, share your story, because if you don't ask, I can't help. Remember, your happiness depends on you. So let's get back to today's topic. Five reasons why you should not listen to others. Reason number one, if you listen to others, you're likely to follow their values and their dreams. Whether you want it or not, you will copy other people's limiting beliefs. You will copy other people's fears and anxiety. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a friend who was in a toxic relationship. Now she does not trust men. Let's say you've met a guy, you like him and he likes you. It's Friday night and he tells you that he has to finish some paperwork and has to stay overcome at his workplace. You share this information with your friend. Immediately, she puts a seed of doubt in your head that he might be a liar and probably he is going out with somebody else. You truly value your friend. You know her for years. She wants only the best for you and you know that. So even if you disagree with her suspicion, she has already planted the bad seed in your head. So you call your boyfriend, he might not pick up because he is busy at work. Now the seed of suspicion is growing in your head. By the time you talk to your boyfriend, you are already emotional. He feels judged, he feels criticized and misunderstood. You might say, what if your friend is right? It's possible. Your friend might be right or might be wrong. The most important thing here is that the more you listen to your friend, the more fears and anxieties you're gonna copy from her. So my advice is, before asking your friend for her opinion, maybe you can talk to your boyfriend first and tell him how you feel being alone on Friday night. Maybe your boyfriend would reply that he will try to do you know, his best and try to finish his work as soon as possible and hopefully you will still have time to hang out. Before we move to the second reason why you should not listen to others, if you're new to my channel, then I have a gift for you. I would like to send you five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations and five free healing exercises. Check the link below the video or visit elenasemenek.com slash free. Let's get back to today's topic. Five reasons why you should not listen to others. Reason number two. When you listen to others, you hurt your self-esteem. Every person is unique. 
we have our own values and our own priorities. If you listen to another person sooner or later, you will face the fact that your friend, your spouse has a different opinion. You might start questioning yourself, what if you are wrong and your best friend is right? By comparing your opinion to others, especially if the other person is someone important to you, like your parent, your spouse, or your best friend, you are likely to lean towards their opinion and devalue your own. So the more advice you ask, the less confidence you will have in making your own decisions. This might significantly hurt your self-confidence and self-esteem. So let's talk about the third reason why you should not listen to others. But before that, I would like to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. On my channel, I share a lot of important videos and it would not be possible without my sponsors. So thank you BetterHelp for helping me to create this video. May is a mental health awareness month. This is a month to raise self-awareness, fight stigma, and provide support for anyone struggling with their mental health. This year's theme is Together for Mental Health. People share their personal stories in hopes of encouraging others to prioritize their mental health. So I would like to share my personal story as a reason number three why you should not listen to others. Reason number three, if you keep listening to others, the chance that you will achieve your goal is very, very little. I came to the United States about 15 years ago. I met a guy online. We were talking for about six months or so. It was a long distance relationship. He called me almost every single day. So one day we decided to meet in person. I came to the United States. I have a six month visa. We started dating and we did not want to break up. So I stayed back. At that time, my English was extremely poor. One day I watched a movie about a great motivational speaker who helped a lot of people. And I felt that this is exactly what I want to do in my life. I want to help people. And at that time, I already had my psychology degree and I was in love with human psychology. I shared my deepest dream with my boyfriend. Unfortunately, he laughed at me. He said that my English is really bad. I can barely speak English. I don't know American mentality and nobody would listen to me. At that time, he was my only friend and lover. And although it was extremely painful to hear his opinion, I came to the conclusion that he was probably right. He had been living in this country since his childhood. He went to school here, he was running his own business and he was helping with the family business. So I had to admit that he was wrong and my idea was unrealistic. So instead of following my own dreams, I was helping him to promote his business. He had a martial arts studio where he was the boss, he was the teacher, he was the spiritual guru, and he was following his dream. Only 10 years later, when I divorced him and met my current husband, I realized that I lost 10 years of my life following another person's dream. Only 10 years later, I was able to get back to my dream, to my passion and my desire to help other people. And I became a motivational speaker. I am a life coach and a therapist now. So I don't want you to repeat my mistake. That's why I created this video. And I don't want you to forget or to give up on your dreams and your goals. Even if it looks like the other person knows what he's talking about, you should not listen to them. Never give up on your dream. Instead, surround yourself with people who support you, who can cheer you up, who can guide you, and who can help you on your way to success. Again, this month is a mental health awareness month. 
Another big theme of this month is creating easy access to mental health care. This has been one of BetterHelp's goals for a long time. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with a therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy and you can apply for financial aid as they accept HSA benefits. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network. It gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Then you schedule your video or phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages. And of course, everything you share is completely confidential. And the good part that I like about BetterHelp, that if you don't like a therapist, you can always request a new one at no additional charge anytime. So if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please share about BetterHelp with them. And you can use my link to get 10% off your first month. Visit betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. Let's get back to the topic of today's video. Five reasons why you should not listen to others. Reason number four is listening to others means seeking someone else's approval. Ask yourself, do you really need your best friend's approval? Do you really need your spouse's approval? Before asking another person for advice or sharing your story with another person, ask yourself first if you think that this person will support you. And be honest with yourself. If there is a chance that this person will criticize you, it's better not to share your ideas with them. It's okay to ask for help. I actually encourage my clients to ask and to accept other people's help. But be careful when you pick an advisor. If you need business advice, ask a person who succeeded in business. If you need relationship advice, ask a person who is happy in their relationship. If you need advice on how to overcome a difficult situation, Ask a person who had the tough experience in their life and was able to manage it successfully. So surround yourself with kind, honest and positive people. Limit your communication with toxic people who likes to judge, criticize or who force you to take their side. It might be painful to say goodbye to some people in your life, but if your relationship does not make you feel good, then why do you want to hold on to them? So before we talk about the final reason why you should not listen to others, I would like to invite you to my happiness club that I created for people just like you who want to learn how to become confident, how to boost their self-esteem and how to create profound relationships. Just because you dedicated your time to watching this video, I am going to give you a special offer. Check the link in the video description. Become a member of my happiness club and receive instant access to my entire healing database that includes guided meditations, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, breathing exercises, energy work, art therapy, and much more. All the links are in the video description. And finally, Reason number five why you should not listen to others is in order to be successful in life, whether it is a career or loving relationship or following your dream, you have to learn how to take risks and how to be responsible for your own decisions. This is a vital skill to achieve your goals and manifest any of your dreams. If you listen to others, if you follow other people's idea, other people's priority, other people's values, it will be impossible for you to create the life that you truly want for yourself. So let's summarize five reasons why you should not listen to others. Number one, 
if you listen to others, you are likely to follow their values and dreams and sacrifice your own desires. Number two, when you listen to others, you hurt your self-esteem because you place other people's opinion above your own. Number three, if you keep listening to others, the chance that you will achieve your goal is very, very small. Number four, listening to others means seeking someone else's approval. And number five, in order to be successful in life, in order to be happy, you need to take risks. You need to make mistakes. You need to be responsible for your own decisions. No one can tell you how to live your life. You are the boss here. Your happiness is in your hands. And once again, I invite you to join my happiness club where you can learn how to become a happy, confident and successful person. If this video was helpful, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. Write your question in the comments and I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. Remember, your happiness depends on you. So if you don't ask your question, I will not be able to help. All essential links are in the video description. So subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next important video. Bye.